And to the extreme weather in the heartland tonight, a new information coming in on the size and scope of those deadly tornadoes. One outside Tulsa, turns out it was an EF2, and that tornado in Moore, Oklahoma, an EF1. These were significant twisters. Terror as they touched down, and just listen to this. Oh my God! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! And we all saw those pictures decimating a gymnasium, 50 children trapped, carried to safety there. And then we learned their coaches singing songs, using the flashlights on their cell phones, to keep the children calm. Always the heroes in this. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z because now that that system has moved out, we're dealing with the cold as we head into the weekend. So much calmer, but certainly frigid. We're talking freeze warnings and watches as far south as Atlanta. So let's look at that cold blast, David. Parts of Missouri all the way to South Carolina, North Carolina, all covered in blue. The numbers are going to be sub-freezing in so many places. 20s for Louisville waking up on Saturday. A cold weekend, a start to the weekend in Pittsburgh at 17. New York City gets into the 20s as we kick off your Sunday morning. So that's the cold, but it is the antithesis of the other side, right? 180 degrees different, 10 to 20 degrees above average. 100 for Yuma. We've already seen dozens of records broken the last couple of days. All right, Ginger Z with us.